In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a patio in AutoCAD. And the benefit to this is that you're using AutoCAD to create accurate spaces for contractors to build, but in the long term, create functional spaces. So I'm going to create a patio by using the square command and typing in D for dimensions. You also have opportunity to enter the area if you have a specific area that you want to enter. But for this tutorial, I'm going to do it by dimensions. I'm going to type D and enter and I'm going to have it as 12 feet by 12 feet and I'm also going to create a circle patio with a radius of 6 feet and that would be 12 feet in diameter and to distinguish or to communicate that this object is a patio we can use the command hatch and we're going to hatch this area with a paver pattern and when you type hatch, a new toolbar appears where we can select the paver pattern hatch that we'd like. And AutoCAD gives us an option on how to hatch certain objects within the program. So there's two different ways. You could pick the internal point or you can select the external line. And for this one, I'm going to pick the internal point. And by doing that, I'm going to press K or type in K and the crosshair will come up and you can see that when I hover over the inside of a line, the paver pattern kind of automatically fills in that area. So to complete it, just simply do the left click on the mouse and then hit enter and your paver pattern is now in the area. And we could do the same thing but selecting line instead. And we're gonna type hatch and I'm going to select the objects Here's, you can see down here that there's the different options. So I'm gonna type S and I'm gonna select the line. And now we have a paver pattern within the circle boundary. Now to show how this patio is in scale compared to other things uh, like, for instance, furniture, I'm gonna grab furniture from the minimalist library that's available on our website, www.thelandscapelibrary.com. It's called the minimalist library and it has pre-built landscape symbols and also furniture and hardscape materials. So I'm going to select a table and I'm gonna copy it into this area. And you can see the function of the space compared to the table. Subscribe to the channel for more videos or go to www.thelandscapelibrary.com for trainings, tools, and other resources just like the Minimalist Library.